141 pounds, another hammer. This one is Nick Lee, ranked number two in the country. And Danny Bertoni for the Terrapins. And Lee TJ, another one of those guys. Talk about being relentless and putting points on the board. Nick Lee invented the scoreboard. Right, and he's so efficient, he's really technically sound, as we talk about every time he goes out on the mat. And we do talk about relentless, and I always talk about the fact that it, you know, it's hard to beat relentless, and that's what Nick Lee is all the time, always putting the pressure. There he is on that single leg, crack down. Nothing. Driving through, looking to try to get some points from the near fall right away. Comes in 5-0, and oh, double-digit points scored in all of his matches, came into this contest outscoring the opposition 69-11. to 11. Cradle locked up, trying to stay on the mat. He knows right where he is, looking to bring Bertoni back onto the mat and drive forward. Looking for his first pin. This is senior season. Nice job by Bertoni fighting off that. It is he needs to not get his head and his knees too close because Nick Lee is looking for that fall, you can tell. Three-time All-American, fifth as a freshman and as a sophomore, was first team in 2020. Big Ten finalist fell to Luke Pletcher last March, two years previous. Third place efforts in both championship tournaments. Leading at 2-0, 140 here in this first period. Looking for a tilt is Lee as riding time approaches one minute. Gonna roll him through. There, it's into his lap, and now he's got him tight with the arm. Real, his chest tight to the back of uh, Bertoni there, getting the four count. You know, they uh, different styles, but um, you, you know, his his effort and his relentlessness and his punishing way is a lot like Rutherford. Um, was always at you, always going. Nick Lee just always bringing it. 88 career victories, 74 of those bonus point victories. He's got 27 tech falls in his career. 27 tech falls in the Big Ten. One. He's got that right toe inside the circle, so able to score in this position. And now the bounce. And I said it was a little bit different style. Nick Lee's, you know, he comes to go to work, blue collar, gets out there, but you know, it just reminds you that, uh, you know, shows how Kale can coach anyone and doesn't ask them to just fit in a mold. Bertoni out of Jefferson, Maryland, Middleton High School, was a four-time state champion. Also part of a couple state championship soccer teams. Coach Clemson said, very athletic. He is the first pick when they play games on that team. Said, athletically, can do some pretty incredible things. He's down 6-0 late here in this first period. Lee out of Evansville, Indiana. Wrestled at modern day. Three-time place winner, two-time finalist, won a state champion as a sophomore. And the final seconds tick away in the first period in the books. A good one for Nick Lee. Another look at Cale Sanderson. Since the 2015-2016 season, 49-1 in Big Ten duels. That is incredible. If there's one thing that all the Nittany Lions do. They, they're they always looking to score points. Tough on top, good on the bottom. They might be doing it in a different style, but they all come after you and always looking to score. And you just have the feeling that Kale right now, thinking about his freshmen, his sophomores, how they're coming about. It's kind of like Hannibal from the A-team, rubbing his hands together, saying, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> I think it's like watching Groundhog Day. I mean. Phenomenal, outstanding, talented freshman for Penn State. We haven't seen this before, have we? You look at some of the greats. Quentin Wright under Kale Sanderson's tenure. David Taylor, Ed Ruth, 
Morgan McIntosh, Bo Nickel, Jason Null, Vincenzo Joseph, and I'm sure I'm missing a few people, Zane Rutherford. We see a couple of leaves in the lineup. You talked about mo Modern Day. They just won a state championship this weekend, um, Modern Day did, and so proud uh, alums going at it tonight after their young teammates keep bringing it to the high school recognition and good part wrestling in Indiana. Lee hustles for two more, nine nothing. Of course, another guy, can't forget Nico Megalutis. Fantastic 125 pound national champion for the Nittany Lions. So flexible was Megalutis. Inside of 30 seconds, we're at 25 seconds here in the second period. Vintage Nick Lee here on this Monday evening. And see how he uses that head there to just to keep uh, Bertone down, flattened out, bringing it to the back right there. See how he uses his knee right there, his right knee, and he's pinching uh, Bertone so he can not get to his base. <laughs> Big Ten Wrestling fans, there's a new Instagram account dedicated to you at B1G Wrestling. Check it out. Follow for the best Big Ten highlights, videos, images from the mat straight to your feed. Join the community. Follow at B1G Wrestling on Instagram. TJ, I believe that was at about 23,000 when I checked last night. Keep on building it. Phenomenal content. The on the mat series, you can watch those videos. Great content at B1G Wrestling on Instagram. But Tony did a nice job of squaring up there, anticipating Lee, looking for that cow catcher, was able to uh, uh, clamp down with that uh, elbow and not to let uh, Lee get that underhook and drive through. Had the chin, so nice job there by Lee, dropping back down. Just really making it tough with the pressure and on Bertone there. You look at this weight class at 141. Ironman, Lee, and Rivera, and Red. One, two, three, and four in the track wrestling individual rankings. Looking forward to watching those guys collide. Yeah, nice job by Bertone on dropping down on that leg and not letting Lee finish with that underhook setup that he had. And yet Lee's going to come around and drive through for the, for the two there. Freed his ankle and scores two more on the edge. Hey, Shane, do you think there is any Nittany Lion that does not think they're going to win and come out on top this year? I don't care who's at number one. I, I believe they believe they're the ones. When we watched the on-the-mat feature during intermission last Friday night with Penn State and Ohio State, in that two-hour broadcast, there was one line that stood out to me more than anything else, and that is when Aaron Brooks said, we believe we're the favorites. Yeah, I think that's what gives them the freedom and the confidence and makes it fun. Just a stacked lineup. Most All-Americans in a season in Penn State history was back in 1987 when they had eight. As you mentioned, eight of the last nine NCAA championships. Their first was back in 1953. Another last point victory for Nick Lee. Riding time over four minutes. Wins it by 12, 14-2. Four more on the team scoreboard for Penn State.